and we're live. Hello, guys, and welcome back. It's uh, David and Alex, and have we got a show for you today. Me and Alex are going to build the ultimate casino resort, sir. I agree. We're, we're going to put it together. Yep. We, we get asked all the time if we're ever going to have a casino, and today's the day to answer some of these uh, questions. And the first we're going to answer why us, uh, but before we get to that, so we're going to build the biggest casino, the, well, not the biggest casino, the ultimate casino, but before we get to that, we do have a few real basic announcements. So your, your birthday bash is coming up, sir. Not this weekend, the following weekend. Yes, August 17th to the 21st. Yep. The two big dates are the 19th party here, 20th party at Westgate. Yes. The very last chance you have to RSVP is going to be tomorrow. After tomorrow night, that page is going down. We're maxed out. We're basically maxed out right now, but we're allowing a few people to squeeze in, okay? Uh, so we, we definitely have that. By the way, uh, before we get, we, we can't forget, we got a few giveaways. We didn't yep. give away anything last week, so we're going to make up now. <laughs> Alex is, has a few interesting outfits picked out, sir. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm totally going to look like a ridiculously obnoxious Vegas gambler. Yes. So. so we have the Tacky Gambler contest coming, which is really Alex's thing, by the way. <laughs> you have no idea. He loves wearing, you know, wonky... Stupid shit. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he started this a long time ago, so anytime there's a the holiday, he has these sweaters, sir. Mm -hmm. They're uh, they're fantastic. Yeah, I never knew that was a thing. I oh, I knew I knew about ugly sweaters, but not ugly sweaters that also communicated ugly thoughts. Yeah, you know they're what I mean? also like borderline <laughs> offensive. Yeah, right. Yeah. So uh, those are a lot of fun. And then um, we we started the uh, the shit gamblers say. Yep. Is, is how this was uh, coming about, and everybody loved it. And uh, if it, it's a video we did way back. Is it still up on? Yeah, on CG? that's when we first started. Uh, yeah, that's when we first started like YouTube. So we we did that, yeah. and uh, you know, obviously gamblers do some weird stuff. So we Alex did this fantastic video. That by the way, that's when we knew you had like. We were also impressed. Oh it, really? You did that great. I was. It was like so natural, sir. It was mm -hmm. like you in the seat, like being organic. obnoxious. You're being obnoxious. Yeah. It made a lot of sense. All right. Uh, what else do we got? So, so it's CasinoQuest.biz. Uh, you got to click on the button, and it says Birthday Bash right there, info, and it, it'll give you some information. If, so if you happen to be in town, we got some great room rates, but this is the last chance because it's coming. We're at the final. We're at the wire. We have some real wonderful food planned, events planned, uh, a lot of really, really cool stuff. And uh, a couple things uh, we're going to add to that real quick before we get to our, our show is um, – we have uh, our, our, our normal site is shopcasinoquest.com. And in a minute, everything is going to be moving to that. Uh, and we, uh, you know, if you don't know already, we, we've been procuring. We've been working really hard getting some very special things for our players. Uh, you know, we're dealers. We're players. We know kind of the stuff that you guys want. Uh, so we have a lot of really new cool stuff on Shop Casino Quest. We're finally getting, we have literally scoured, like, you know, when it comes to, like, the spinny rings. And by the way, you got to spin these. It, those of you that have ordered these, you got to work these in a little bit. When they come, they come a little bit uh, not so spinny. You got to work them in? No, you really got to work that finger, dude. You got to oh, really? give that finger. And by the way, that. Do you need any spit or anything dude, lubricated or no? This thumb has some really amazing action yeah, now man. i bet yeah this thumb gets some go <laughs> you never know you never know how soon you need that thumb for no and and your index fingers i just i i yeah. usually work them on both the rings there you but, go but uh they're, they're they're so cool uh but besides that we have gotten these poker cases in yes uh we 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 have gotten a ton of these we made a huge investment they are literally billeted uh steel reinforced solid hard aluminum all this other stuff but anyways uh they're 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 three they're chip cases poker chip cases yep, so that one's we, a 300 this is a 300 and then we have uh this other 300 light and fluffy it's more plastic it's like a pelican case a little more affordable <laughs> yeah you can't use that word sir oh, trademark i mean like Don't foam hard plastic hard case. plastic do you know anything yeah. else that's hard plastic dude oh yeah, that's true <laughs> 
We have some hard plastic things at uh, Alex's house. Yeah. Just so you know, they're on the mantle. Yeah. All right. And those of you interested in submitting strategies, a lot of you guys ask us about the strategies. We now have a link tree. Yes. In the description. Uh, link tree literally has all of our links. Uh, literally, like any platform that you need: Twitch, Discord, uh, TikTok, Twitter. Um, David's podcast is in there, all the different platforms. Everything. Alex has been hard yeah. at work. It's quite something. It's a really extensive sh- thing. Yeah, literally everything is in that link tree. So in the description of any of our videos, there's a link tree link. Boom. You can, anything you need, if you have any questions, it, everything should basically be there. Okay. Yep. All right. So here's the thing. Now let's, let's get to it. Let's make sure it sound every, everything is good. Yep. We're off and running. Oh, I heard some super chats. You want to start that or we go? Yeah, let's start with that. And then we'll save some of your questions at the end because we are building the ultimate casino. We're going to tell you why, how, what. We're going to answer a lot of questions today. You guys are going to be very excited. This is going to be a very uh, fantastic episode. Very focused. We're going to yes. say laser focused. Yeah, sir. this one we're very passionate about because we really very. do feel like this is our next five to ten year goal. No, 100%. All right, what do you got? Super chats, mm-hmm. go. Uh, okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. Where's Poppy at? I want to see that beautiful face. Oh. Ah. Uh, uh, hey. Uh, gave us five dollars, but retracted her message. So I, but thank you for the five dollars. Okay, thank you very thank much. you very we much. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Patty, uh, our uh, Patty. Yes. Oh. Gave us eight eight dollar eight pounds and ninety nine. Uh, Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Thirteen dollars U.S. Thank That's you, a sir. cod sandwich with fries, yeah. dude. That's a fish yeah. and chip outing right there, buddy. Mm-hmm. Says this is for Alex to put on the ATS. Sorry, I can't make it out loud. Uh, oh, thank you so much. Man. Appreciate it. That's okay. It's, I'll it's hit the ATS again for Patty. It's understandable. Yeah. Unfortunately, Patty can't make it out a lot. I mean, the plane, uh, what, what is the plane's uh, cost from uh, England these days? A lot? From here? From here. Yeah, it's Round pretty trip. expensive now. It's like 900 bucks. Now the gasoline is like, you know, a lot. You used to be well, able to get it. It's starting to drop now. So huh? Start, gas prices are starting to drop. So. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. All right. What else you got? Anything else? Anything uh, we have to. Well, we have a couple. We, okay. Ooh. We have uh, Gary Benson. Gave Hi, Gary. $9.99. Didn't say anything. Okay. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you. Katie Hess with another $5 said, Happy early birthday, twin Virgos. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, I know. Virgo. That's my sign. That's your sign? Mm-hmm. Douchebagus says, Can I get a whole yeah, puppy? Oh, yeah. I love Douchebagus. <laughs> I know. He hangs out with me on Twitch all the we time. Have, we have, yeah, we got to get through all the Al- Alex folks have arrived. See, yeah. there's like there's like the David, you know. I see my I see my people as like the intellectual slash armchair slash yeah. coin collecting and keno then people. I just fire up social media. I go juveniles unite. Yeah, yeah. Then then Alex is like you know anyone under six and uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? we actually had a six year old. Can you yeah. tell him the story, yeah, sir? Yeah. So a six year old called because he watched our TikTok. Yep. And he called and he just wanted to call and say thank you because he's like, I watch Alex on TikTok. Yeah, he related to Alex yeah. instantly, which <laughs> makes complete sense, <laughs> by the way. Uh, yeah, yeah. Six-year-olds, yeah, night. Yeah. Uh, that's fantastic, by the way. We love that. We we have uh, we have some young fans, uh, and we have a fifth-grade class out there as well that uh, follows some of our content, especially the learning stuff, the math. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's a there's a math teacher. This is applied math. You want to tell a math class, you know, yeah. why why learn at least you know some basic math? Here we go. I can, re- I can relate to the little kids, you know. No, hundred percent. You're highly relatable. That head, that noggin, dude. That's a lot of relating right there. Look at that <laughs> face. Okay, so uh, what else? Anything good? Uh, Tony, gave us five dollars. Hi, Tony. Anything. Thank you. Thank you very much. We should. Uh, all right. So we are going to give away. Uh, so we're those of you who can't be here or want an extra. Mm. We have these fantastic. These are the lanyards that we're giving away for free to all the attendees yep. at our the birthday pass. You're going to come away with a souvenir. You might actually have a few souvenirs because <laughs> we have gone all out on the souvenirs. You won't get your own Timmy because oh, uh, we couldn't afford a lot of too many of those. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of you wouldn't know how to use it. You yeah. know what I mean? Cor- correctly. Correctly I use agree. it. I don't Not know the high five. It. You know I what I mean? Use it, Not yeah. the <laughs> But uh, here we go. So we're going to give away two of these. So here, we're going to give away one. Uh, in- we're going to give one away one later. And then we're going to give, if we get to 200 likes, uh, you know, God forbid, we're going to give away the other sure. one, basically. And, sure. and maybe even, we might even throw in some, we have some extra merch here. But all right, let's get to it. And uh, we're going to roll, sir. So he, wait, wait. Before you get too far, I just really want to rate this. Go. Oh, uh, so where, where, where to go? Where to go? Wait, wait. Give me a second. Uh, someone, you know, it's, it's generational now, Alex. Um, well, it says, Alex can't ruin my son. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. We're getting that shirt, by the way. Wait till you see it. Wait till you see it. Alex Kim ruined my life. It's coming. It's coming. It makes sense, by the way. It's. I mean, just to let everybody know, we uh, we are working nonstop. It's a very serious workplace. Most of the time, it is. It is, but uh, we are we are big kids now. We are. Yeah, we That's are modeling. It. What's funny is because we're going to like I'm going to like the store and my, my house is just becoming like a big kids all the things that I wanted to do when I was yeah. a kid we're finally able to realize here. Mm. I mean, we get to gamble for free sometimes yeah, too. I That's mean, pretty fantastic. Get to gamble, but also too like the clips That's, and stuff we make. It's oh. all like comedy. I, I don't know. I, don't I mean, know we it. got how many craft tables do we have and blackjack yeah. table? How many of you would like a craft table in your yeah, house? I know. I mean, that's kind of a cool thing. Everyone's just fired up today. I got you know instead of instead of those high chairs, I literally have casino chairs inside my. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I have the Gary Platt, you know, extra premium. Like here, belly up to the hair. Get a sandwich. You know yeah. what I mean? It's pretty fantastic. All right. So we're going to build the ultimate casino. Are you ready? This is going to be a really fantastic because okay. I think a lot of you are going to relate. And a lot well, of you... I'm going to read one more super chat. All right, one more. Okay, good. But if you if you do send a super chat, don't worry. We'll get to it. We'll get to it at the end because um, we want to stay focused. Yeah, this one we're going to actually like not Laser. Like, yeah. Okay. Well, Robert Barnes gave us a $2 super chat. Mr. Says, B. Prepay. Alex knows. Uh-oh. Is that for some aerosol? What's going on? <laughs> Anyways, okay. Thank you, Mr. B. We'll, we'll you, figure Mr. out Robbie. what the hell's in your brain later, sir, okay? It's a welcome, welcome. All right, okay. so here we go. We're going to build a casino. Okay. Okay, it's the ultimate casino. A lot of people have talked to us lately. The wagons have been circling our business, okay. kind of what we've been doing. We're building this, you know, com fantastic community of people. And uh, first, I want to answer the why. So why us? You know, a lot of times you see people talk, you know about things and you wonder like mm -hmm. why am i listening to these talking heads <laughs> okay you know what yep. i mean do you really want to know the truth why us why us uh because we don't sexually harass our staff that's <laughs> number one okay that's number Go one the petty, yeah. the petty punch okay. right away well well i'm gonna add some professionalism and and, <laughs> yeah. and alex is gonna direct his attention to all the six-year-olds out there who yeah. want to understand yeah, so we have a very diverse very positive we, we tip we stay positive you know believe it or not uh, there's not a lot of ego. It's not a lot. Of, this is not an ego-driven workplace. Yeah. We have a lot of people, a lot of different talents, a lot of different ages, all ages, sir. A lot yeah, of different we generations. Yeah. We really don't care as long as you bring it. You bring it, or you're here. We have a lot of fun, and we work together. Yep. I have been. I broke into this business in 1991. I my very first job was at the Golden Gate. I had, yeah. uh, you know, a lot of you know, I was out of the military. I had trouble getting a job. Ultimately, ended up broken down basically in Vegas. Ended up in gaming. Um, past the, as the, within the gaming market, I have, this is be my 32nd year. I, I have taken little detours here and there off and on. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I played a role in 13 casinos as a dealer, supervisor, manager. And then I also opened three. I was a trainer at one before coming to the school and now being a trainer for the last five years or so. Uh, and, um, I was a consultant in three different, uh, in three different casino ventures, uh, one of them was a large casino adventure in Louisiana. Another one was uh, more or less as an analyst, data collection, uh, and so. Uh, and uh, another one was as an investor uh, relations, this type of thing. So I have a pretty deep understanding of a lot of things that go into what makes a casino. Uh, and uh, Alex, of course, has uh, dealt and experienced uh, uh, quite a few levels as a dealer, mm -hmm. supervisor, yep. educator. Uh, and, and specifically at the highest end, uh, he's worked for some of the top, the Win, the Cosmo, Hard Rock, yep. uh, some really big, you know, pretty uh, prestigious properties. I did not have the luxury of, of that type of experience, although I did, I did finally work as a consultant for big properties. So the other part of why us is uh, we have built a brand new business, Casino Quest, obviously. Uh, we, we started out several years ago with three employees of which Alex and I wasn't even counted as a third employee. It was literally just like a commission-based relationship, yeah. right? Two employees, essentially, with some independent contractors. Now we're at 25 employees. And just since in, you know, so we have gone from 800 square feet to managing over 10,000 square feet, of which 5,500 square feet is is frontage on the Las Vegas Strip, which yep. is pretty impressive for two dudes. You know what I mean? So we ask that you, you pay attention because uh, we, we know we it's it, yes, uh, I don't have a degree from Wharton School of Business, but our instinct, insight and um, 
You know what I'm saying? Our wizard skills. Our wizard skills have, have brought us here. It's just since last year, we've grown over 800%. Our community is up, I don't know, exponentially, I guess, but yeah. we've grown as a business, this business, 800%. And in a very difficult time, we have managed to create a brand new entity uh, in, a, in a difficult environment, the retail space, right? This retail space. Uh, believe it or not, we generate half of our income as a retail entity and as a uh, education entity here, here on this strip. So, you know, you can look into our business. So that's the why. Right. Mm -hmm. um, the other why is, of course, we built a fantastic community. Uh, we have a lot of players. We understand, you know, a lot of things about being a player, being a dealer, because we've worked both sides of the table for so long. Yeah. And our wizard skills have brought us to the next level. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to start on the very outside of the casino. We're literally going to break it down from the ground up, and we're going to talk about what makes the ultimate casino. Or better yet, if there was ever a casino quest sponsored, own, hosted property by Alex and David, what would that look like? Okay, you ready, sir? Yep. Okay, uh, here's the thing. So so really the, the, the theme of this whole thing is value, service, engagement, yep. whole, whole nother level. We're gonna get to the tables. For those of you who are tuning in, you know, uh, Alex is sort of the king of the table game space. Uh, between the both of us, we've really gotten to generate an, a lot of understanding based on, you know, teaching. Yeah. Uh, and so we're going to explore that. That's going to be the last, believe it or not. So you got to stay tuned, all right? But the first thing we're going to look at is the outside of the casino. So we're going to start at the outside. We're going to literally go down the list. We're going to have some commentary, and we're going to feed in. Some of these are going to be very innovative. I think okay. you guys will be interested in hearing you know what can make a property and there's going to be some casino managers so we have some people out there i know who who maybe don't watch you know live but they yeah. watch after the fact okay ready so the first thing about coming to a casino is i don't want to be held up i want to get to my property i i also want to be able to access the valet i don't want to pay a ton of money i want a big fat valet area where valet is available freely available like it used to be yep. you know you know a great example of that the old hilton what's now westgate big fat valet you drive your car up they take your car it's free or yep. it's five bucks and you're on your way dude no no fuss no hassle you don't have to walk two miles from your car to get into the casino yep. if you're staying at the hotel you get to park outside the hotel that was great about the tropicana the tropicana the tuscany there's a few properties in town where you can literally park <clears throat> close so you don't have to walk a mile mgm grand you got to walk a mile oh, in some yeah. cases to get to planet a planet hollywood planet hollywood you know, God forbid you take the rail. There's so many properties now where you just have to walk endlessly to yeah. get to different components. So my thing on the outside is you have three spheres of engagement. You have the casino. Okay. You have the resort and amenity space, which yep. includes food, shopping, that kind of thing, right? And then you have the hotel. The thing that sucks the most about the hotels, for me anyways, is that it's so much walking, dude. Getting, yep. your, getting your luggage. I mean, I'm not, I'm not talking about staying at the Motel 6. You know what I mean? Uh, but literally anywhere else, if it's a resort, we're talking about a resort property. All right, ready? Yep. Okay. So rooms close to the entrance, uh, hotel on one side, amenities. We talked about that, and you know it's interesting because Dennis talked about the IKEA effect. Anybody goes to IKEA, you know how they route you around the whole yeah. damn thing. It's like to a get whole from, circle. It's a whole circle. It takes you forever to get to yeah. where you want to go. So we're gonna we're gonna eliminate that. All right, you ready? Okay. So what else? Do you have anything to add about the outside? What do you think, buddy? Uh, that that makes sense. I that makes sense. That. Yep. All right, so ready? Now we're going to get to check-in. Here's the thing. Next cumbersome hurdle is the check-in. And this is one of the areas that I was actually a little bit of an analyst is uh, when it came to you know the flow of a property. Yeah. So a lot of properties now, they have this real big check-in. They have this rush around 11, 12, whenever the hell. And yeah. don't you notice it's getting later and later? Some check-ins are later. It's 3 p.m., dude. It's 3, absurd. 4 p.m. I yeah. mean, that, that's ridiculous. So how about we get back to 11, make some rooms available, the early check-in option, but... Here's another thing. They took out all the seats from checking because they don't want you loitering. Who the hell loiters in their registration area? I mean, I, I don't even know if that's a thing. You go to like a circus circus. They have a few things out front, but they're missing. Let's sit down. When I get up to the desk, I want to sit down, work out my reservation, and then move along. But they don't want people to get comfortable in reservation. They want yeah. people not to loiter. The problem is, is if you're stuck there for two hours in this winding, flipping line, Yep. Uh, I want to have a seat, right? Yeah. And then let's load up. Let's get everybody through check-in as quickly as possible, and let's have as many fast check-in options as possible. So key, room key. So the room key on your phone, that's a new new technology that's available, and it's safer. If yeah. I lose my room key, I just got to check in, log in, 
create an ID, go up to my thing, scan my scan my room. I realize that there's some, but we're talking about building the ultimate casino in the future. Yeah. You follow? All right. Yeah, uh, we're not trying to build Disneyland. We're not trying to. No, we're know, not trying to build Disneyland. Rides. All we're doing is looking at increasing a level of engagement, right? Yep. Transitioning people through the property, getting them to the places they want to be. We don't want to be waiting in line. We want to get to, you know what I mean? Yep. We don't, there's no fast pass. I mean, the fast pass is literally here it is. I paid on my phone. I can, If I can get through the airport with my phone, I should be able to get to my damn room. Yeah, I mean, tickets now, sporting event tickets, like just to get in, is you could do Apple Pay, Google Pay on your phone, watch. And oh, be done. Big deal. Boom. Yeah, boom. Right to your door. Yep. Uh, Aria has it. There's a few casino resorts. World, of course, has it, yeah. but a lot of them have it. All right. But to sit, be able to sit down on the phone. Okay. You ready? Yep. All right. You got anything? So, um, so that's the outside. That's accessing the hotel itself. Now I'm gonna get to the room. Okay. Okay. Oh, I got such a list, dude. So interestingly, I served as an analyst for a very large network property out here looking at data points on many of the rooms. Oh, really? Yes, I did. Yes. Oh, okay. I put together quite uh, the spreadsheet. Okay. And uh, we were trying to examine, you know, kind of. Uh, so so here's what happened. Expedia came out with all these uh, lists of amenities, you know, room amenities, how big they were. Yeah. A lot of casinos wanted this to be kept a secret because they don't want you to know they got a small ass room you got to squeeze in. Yep. There are some rooms where if you happen to be a larger person, you won't be able to access your bathroom without crawling on the bed first. You yeah. follow? Or my favorite is like uh, when they build a property and then they try to be a bean counter it and then they cut out like all the bathtubs. It's just a shower. Yeah, or it's all something. showers. Yeah. They always cut something to like hope that people don't care mm. or whatever. No, that's it. I mean, and the bean counters, by the way, I mean, we've talked about this before about what ruined Vegas. Yeah. But, but the bean counters have really killed engagement. They've yeah. not given people the reason. So the reason you used to come to a hotel and and the it was this whole sort of very nebulous experience yeah you know we were talking about the rio earlier where okay but here but no we're gonna get tangible we're gonna stay laser focused all right laser focus all right wow so let's I'm, dude i'm i'm gonna be like non-tangent david today dude oh, wow. non-tangent david all right okay so because we have a lot of a lot of content to go over I, yeah. I want you guys to share in this experience because let me just say i have put together this plan before i have worked on this very thing uh and and in terms of the flow in terms of how the customer, so how much information yeah. is good information for the customer? That was one of the questions we were trying to ask. So that's where we were trying to establish all these data points. And, and let me tell you, all these rooms are starting to piss me off, right? right? Some of the rooms, they just give it away, like the Wynn, the Venetian, the Bellagio, Aria Sky Suites, you pay, but you get quite the experience of the room. But then yeah. when you get to the room, even after having paid, now you got a Keurig and it's eight dollars for one little pod, or you know, it's or, all this yeah. nitpicking crap. You follow the weights on all the stuff. Yeah, if you yeah. take one water, I I don't get a bottled water with my eighteen hundred dollar room. What's going on? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Um. Okay. So here's the thing. Number one, the coffee pot. The coffee pot alone. Now, not everybody drinks coffee, but not having the coffee pot or a Keurig where you get a few pods. A pods don't cost a lot. The yeah. cost, the ones we buy at Costco is like they're a dollar a pot. For $36. Yeah. So like, let, let's get over that. Because nobody that's in a $500, $600 room wants to run downstairs and wait in Starbucks in their skivvies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I, I'm at the point now where I want to just, because I don't I don't like to get dressed before I have my coffee. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm at the point where I'm, I'm just not okay. going to get dressed and go down and get my coffee. Laser focused. You, you made it so I got to get coffee. Now you got to watch the goods. You got to see the goods while I'm getting my goods. You know okay. what I mean? All right. Next is fresh air. Believe it or not, okay, because I understand casinos at a certain level, they don't want the windows to open too far because, you know, maybe you lose too much in the casino. Maybe your wife is upset at you. You know, maybe you're just, you know, interested in the free fall, you know, whatever the case is. Uh -huh. And so they have these buttons. Have you guys seen this where you press the button and fresh air rushes in and you, whoo, wow, nice. Yeah. But they should find a way. There's a lot of ways to just, you know, filter air and allow for more air and air circulation. I think that without having to run the AC or, you yeah. know, to blow through the AC, but have an air filter. Okay. Yeah. Blackout shades. It always, most, most hotels and casinos do have the blackout shades, but some of them are barely efficient. Yeah. And, and I think that the, 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 the goal is to get you out of the, out of the room, but not everybody wants to be out of the room. Some of these rooms are nice. Or if you had a late, late night yeah. and you know, like maybe you, you don't want to wake up at six o'clock in the morning. You know yeah. what I mean? 
You, you know what? You know what? You know what disturbs me too is the when they have these, they they sell the the you know the breakfast add-on, okay? Or or the they have some kind of menu associated with the room, but you have to get to it before 9 a.m. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like Embassy Suites, I, 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 you know, sometimes they have them a little later, but uh, I, I forget which one it was. But you had to get there by, you know, eight thirty. I'm on vacation. I'm not going to get there by eight thirty. You know what I mean? So, so I'll go down there and see if they'll put some aside for me because I still want the free stuff. You know what I mean? But uh, I just not might not make it in time. Yeah. All right. So here's the thing. So the other thing is soundproofing. You know, one of the biggest fails of a lot of casino rooms out here, and by the way, we, we had someone stay at Circa the other day, and Circa, they, they have up top, the pool's going, big club, lots of music, and it kept them up all night. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because you're hearing, sometimes if you're too high, I mean, quite literally. Or, yeah, you, you, also, high, you also don't want to hear what's going on next door, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. Those walls, man, a paper yeah. thing. I mean, there, there's a lot of ways, I think, to, to mitigate this and to, to damper the sound. But I, I think it's a real shame. There, there's a few properties downtown where it doesn't matter where you are in the building. If they have anything going on, like on the weekend, and it's just it's so loud. You're just inundated with this. Yeah. Yeah, it, I mean, it just takes away from your whole experience, especially if you're like hungover or, you're, or you really want to just sleep in. You're on a real vacation. Or you want to take a nap, but the day club is going. That's right. And you don't know, you don't know to ask. You know, there, there are some people that stayed like, um, you know, the downtown Grand. They moved them over to the other side on the other side of the hotel. Yeah. What sucks about that is there's a bar right underneath there. And, of course, they're they're late and making a lot of noise. And a lot of people were just irritated. You know what I mean? Yeah, agreed. Uh, it's a big takeaway. All right. The other thing is, and this is something interesting, um, extra bedding, having your own bedding. Because some of us get a little embarrassed by what goes on in our bedding. You, sir? I don't have any issues. <laughs> But having extra bedding in the room would not hurt. I don't mind making my own bed given certain circumstances. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all right. Extra puddles on your sheets? Yeah, extra puddles, less puddles. You know what I mean? Mm. All right. So here's the thing. Uh, Human-sized towels was a thing that uh, even Dennis added. A lot, of, a lot of places have these really flaky, dried-out, uh, over-starched towels that really don't provide uh, a, a quality experience. I'm on vacation, especially nowadays when you're paying, you know, 180, 200, ridiculous room, and you're paying for the resort fee. How about having some resort yeah. kind of towels, like spa towels, like a spa towel that covers your whole body? Yeah. You know, they it's amazing because they give you a bath towel. It doesn't look like a bath towel, dude. Not That's for the right. average person. It's like this big. It's like you a know, tube top. It's yeah, it is. And and I mean that that's not a towel. All right, uh, bottled water. The room should come with two bottles of water for free or filtered water, period. I don't understand this whole thing where it, they have a cap on it which says if you take $4 out, uh, you know, you got to, I mean, you know, it's four, I mean, if you, it's $4 for every bottle if you take the cap out. You know what I'm saying? That's ridiculous, dude. It should come with some damn water. Uh, either the water is good enough to drink out of the tap or give me a cup or, you know what I mean? Something yeah. other than, you know, ridiculous thing. Shower pressure, clearly. Yeah. Uh, and the ability to upgrade easily. You know who does this really well is the Westgate. So on Westgate during off season for 20 bucks, if you show up at the front desk and they have upgraded uh, rooms, they want to fill them. They'll sell you the upgrade just for 20 bucks, 20 dollar bill. You know, yeah. this was this might be it might be more now. But, you know, just making that option available to you is big. Uh, you know, I went to Universal Studio, went to Florida, and that was one of the things that they gave us at the front office. They're like, "Hey, for your whole stay here for another 100 bucks, you could have a suite." And they made that, it was, I mean, an easy upgrade. A lot of yeah. people, if they knew that was an option, they would just do it. You follow? Yeah. Now I get an extra kitchenette. All right. And the reason why we're going down this list, because we're, 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 we're talking about engagement. We're talking about providing a value experience, recognizing all the things that an end user looks for. Correct. Not shying away from, you know, what makes uh, a, a, great, a great experience. Because if people love, fall in love with your property, it, it, it's it's repeat loyalty. Business. It's repeat yeah. business. They come back all the time. They only want to be part of your experience. I saw, I should also mention for you people that are watching out there. You know what the problem is too? The casinos with the bean counters, they cut, they cut so it's exactly this much staff. So there's pressure on the housekeeping yeah. to do this many rooms in one day, which is physically like not possible. Right. You know, that's yep. the other thing I want to mention that, which too. It takes apart. It takes away from morale. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it, then you run into people in the hallway and they're just so so burdened. I mean, they don't have time to even help you. Or I mean, just, housekeeping doesn't finish rooms. So when you go into the room, they like cut a corner, forgot something. Right. And so that's what takes away from your experience because yep. you come in like the sheets weren't changed or something. You know. Yep. That that was one of the things that we talked about. Like what what made the Rio? So if you talk to almost every person who worked the Rio when Marnell worked there. Yeah. 
One of the things that he did really well was overstaff. You never waited for a drink. You never waited for a room. Everything was it, everything was so attentive. It was this whole experience. It wasn't. It wasn't part of person, and, and I think this is the missed opportunity where we have incentivized profit so much so yeah. that ultimately it takes away from from the experience. Absolutely. I mean, we go to places because we like them. Like there's certain restaurants I go to. There's certain, but but there's not this holistic experience. Like the Rio was literally like I went there for the clubs. You you did the entire you know 180 experience there because yeah. you you knew that there was this level of engagement. The, the bean counters had all been removed. You know what I mean? All right. So here, ready? Now we're going to get to the casino if you're still handing on. Before we start, yep. Super Chats. Oh, you heard some dings? Yeah, Mr. Dennis. I know there are a couple dings in there. So. Well, I was just going to save them for later, but I, uh, I can read them. Yeah, now. we yeah, can just do, do it. Yeah, so. then we're going to get to the casino. Uh, Dirty Lurker gave us uh, $19.99. Uh, wow. Oh, Thank you, shit. Sir. Can't wait to review the Casino Quest toilets on Friday the 19th. Uh, yeah, you'll be... Very uh, you might be alone. You're gonna be a little disappointed, it's, but uh, it's a, on par with Clark County Detention Center. Oh, <laughs> oh really, <laughs> sir? Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, you know Greg I mean? says Who? your chat. Greg. Greg, yes. S gave us five dollars. Says your channel has taught me a lot about being a resp responsible degenerate. Ah. I enjoy your honesty, humor, and passion for educating slash demystifying gambling. F fantastic. That's really Boom. the goal. Yeah, that's absolutely the goal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Yep, yeah. Sadly, that gets us in a lot of trouble. We've lost quite a few accounts over it, but I think that ultimately it's it's the way forward. I mean, uh, honesty has gotten us here, and it'll keep getting us forward. And uh, all the uh, all the people that have, like, literally <laughs> been, you know, gotten lost on the train, you know what I mean? I mean, it is what it is. All right, you ready? We're going to get to the yep. casino part. We're going to end with the table game part, right? Yep. So, so before, well, before we get to the casino part, we're going to talk about the, um, you, the food. Uh, we're going to talk about the resort part of the property. And the, one of the biggest complaints people have is the, revor is the resort fees. And I really think it's a hard sell. I think that you should pay for those amenities a la carte. And, and it's really easy to do. You don't have to put them all together. You know, when you walk up to, a lot of people have become, you know, just completely desensitized to resort fees. Yep. But you're paying for like boarding tickets. For those of you who drive here and you're not interested in going to the spa, maybe you got feet like mine. You know what I mean? You don't want to pull those babies out and sit in puddles of water downstairs. You know what I mean? It's like, it makes no sense. Now the Wi-Fi costs, I get it. Oh, y'all want Wi-Fi, but let's let's be honest. Let's say free Wi-Fi. It's not that hard to have Wi-Fi and have everybody make it at least at some level, and then you pay if you want some upgraded level. But there should be free. Yeah, wi -Fi. should be like a basic one and then basic like an advanced Wi-Fi. One. Yeah, and then like an advanced <laughs> one. Some casinos have tried that. By the way, now they just went all in on their resort fee. But when you're when you're literally driving from California and you're there just to gamble and you're planning on actually spending your money. Uh, and you have to pay for the boarding pass. You have to pay for the the spa locker, you know, fee and all this other stuff as yeah. part of your resort fee. They're like, yeah, but we're giving you all these amenities. Yeah, but I don't want all these amenities. I'm not here for any of that stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, but you know, and then the parking's extra still. It's not even in places. Some places now you have to pay for parking separately. Yeah, I I did I went and did a TikTok the other day mm. at the should I say the property? I mean. Maybe okay. I was at a property downtown, and mm -hmm. it's not even free for locals. It's Ten bucks. Oh, I know Ten a property. I, that is. I was like, couldn't believe. Does it, it have to do? Does it rhyme with Taj Mahal? Maybe I don't know. It was. Uh, it's, yeah. it's downtown. Yeah. So there you go. So Urca. No. <laughs> <laughs> does it rhyme with Urca? Yeah. But no, that one's uh, five bucks an hour. Another property. Five Ten bucks an hour, yeah. but dude. But it's ridiculous. No, you know? that's absurd, man. And you're going there to spend your money, dude. It makes no sense. And how you can't get it validated? I, I literally, we literally went to film a property one time, and no one there could validate the. The guy's like, yeah, well, you can get management to validate the ticket. No one knew how it was done because it hadn't been done in so long. Yeah. You can't validate a ticket. You used to be able to go in the horseshoe. And just boom, hit it because you walk through the place. That's all they wanted you just to walk through. Yeah, as they long were as hoping you, you dropped a quarter. Like, as long, if you got a player's card and you got play on it, boom, validation. That's How it. much do these spots cost you, dude? I don't understand. I mean, you know, what's the takeaway? We all got big ass parking lots. Anyways, that I could go on forever about that. All right, so validated parking. Yep. Okay. And then, you know, Alex would like to see. So, so there has to, there should be a food court, right? A fast, fast, casual food court, but also yes. some. 
So, like, in my idea, because, like, buffets are going away, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But I would love if we could sublease, like, an all-you-can-eat option, like a Texas Day Brazil or a Sushi Neko. No, people love that. Yeah. Right? So, for one price, you're all in. Yeah, like some type of all-you-can-eat option that's universal. You know, that'd be kind of great. Or, like, the, you know, Hush Puppies here in town. Like, the Southern Restaurant, all-you-can-eat. Dude, the the one thing I always hated about buffets is getting my own damn food. I still wanted all-you-can-eat. I just didn't want to, you know, have to get... It but, myself, but that would be just great if we had some type of option that's similar to a buffet experience, mm-hmm. but better because it's not crappy buffet food. Yeah, hundred percent. Just sitting there with a the heat lamp, and then you can and you can still make in station, just have it delivered to the tables. Yeah. There's a lot of ways to to work that out without without it being technically a buffet. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I think it would love it. I would love a Korean barbecue. All you can eat with noodles, dude. Or something, yeah. What Some happened type to the of noodles? option or yeah. something, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, wait, you want Korean barbecue? I like the barbecue part. I can't figure out how to make this stuff. That's why you have Alex. It's an extra surcharge if you don't know how to cook your food. Nah, oh, you they got cook Alex. It for you. Yeah. They do cook it for you? There's some places, yeah, they'll cook the, it for you. Know, you you got to pay them to cook it for you, but that makes no. no why I go there in the first High place. High-end a la carte places. I went to uh, I went to a Korean barbecue. Luckily, Alex was there. We're like, dude, Alex, we have no idea how to. Cook I know. This I walked stuff. in can... and I was like, chicken. What, what are you eating, chicken? Yeah, Korean? we had and chicken. Then I was like, I was like, what? Put all this rice away. I was like, you yeah. Don't, like, and they like, brought us noodles too because yeah, yeah. it's off the menu too. You can't. You gotta okay, ask it off the, the menu. The rice and the chicken part. I was like, no, all meat, 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 meat. All yeah. right. So, uh, so yeah, so some guys. So you know, the food can't all be foofy, high end, expensive. People want to just go yeah. in, eat leave focus on sort of the amenities yeah. that kind of thing all right uh the other thing i the other the other idea that i have very specifically is and one of the things that we're trying to instill with casino quest is white glove amenities at a property and i have had this discussion and this this business planning part with one of the highest level executives that used to be here in vegas right and so the idea is is that a lot of people want to access the amenities but never get to the point where their play is that level yeah. But if they just got a chance to pay for it, mm-hmm. so let so let's say if you could get access to a limousine, not yep. all the time, but for pickup and drop off throughout, you know, the Vegas stuff for let's say a hundred bucks, the cost of moving that limousine around, would you do it? A lot of people would say yes. Are you kidding me? Now, how about this? Coming from the airport to the thing, the, the problem with you is, the problem with going from the airport sometimes, even if you hire transportation is that once you get dropped off, you're kind of on your own. And if you get dropped off outside of Planet Hollywood or MGM, you got to have, a, it's a long ways to go with yeah. all of your all of your stuff. So how about a white glove treatment? Because you're on vacation. So for $100, right? For $100, you get picked up, you get dropped off, and you, there's someone there that can accommodate the movement, the transition of your luggage to your room. So you can just get out of the car, Go check in yep. or, or check in on your phone. Go to your room or yep. go, go you so that you can more quickly get to the things that you want to do. Yep. Because that's the one part about vacation, especially in Vegas, these properties are so flipping big, is all the damn walking. I mean, people have gotten to renting scooters now. It's either that or the ride share is like so far away that's to it. not accommodate people. And why the, why the casinos, why the resorts have not invested? Because the bean counters have taken this out. There used to be a casino who used to register you at the airport and provide transportation direct. Not, not Now, Aria still has that option if you do the Sky Suites, cause, but you're paying a shit ton of money, and so, of course, it's an option. But there used to be a one regular, a few of them, actually, that have desks at McCarran, or what used to be McCarran, now it's Harry yeah. Reid, right? And they, um, they, would, they would sign, you could register for your room there at the, at the damn uh, airport, which is, I mean, I, genius. So be, before you even get to the hotel, you already know what room you're going to. You get right out of the damn transportation straight up to your room. It just yeah. saves all that effort, and it makes things so. Having white club amenities available. So one of the things that me and Alex are working on is building out trans, having transportation available for you, for literally Casino Quest customers. We have enough people coming into town every single weekend. Yep. And and you know. If we're not looking to make all that much money from it, which it doesn't have to be a profit-making venture, all we're interested in doing is making you happy and getting you excited. Because I Plus, guarantee how cool you, is that limo in Vegas. Like if if we had a ve- if we had a limo for you guys, guess where you're going to end up? Right here at Casino Quest. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, really, all day long. I mean, that's the goal. So as much as we could take care, make that investment on you, and you know, it's not going to be free. There's going to be a cost. We have gasoline. We have to have a driver. These kinds of things, but. Yeah. For a relatively low cost, 
uh, you can have access to uh, a limousine here in town to get you where you want to go. And we'll, we'll, we'll make it like ride hops and we'll work out a routine, a scheduling routine where you'll have it available so that you can, you know, get picked up and get yeah. dropped off. Uh, and we're hoping, so we're, we're hoping to sort of upgrade the school casino. Anyways, that's going to be for another time. All right. So, uh, the other thing about the resort before we get to the casino, which I think is very interesting okay. is, uh, we want to make this whole experience social media friendly. Most people just don't care. If you do care, it doesn't have to be social media friendly for you, but we want to make the customer the star. Yep. That's the thing that's still lost on many casinos. They, they, they will go to great lengths to hire somebody to sit up at the top of their hotel and drink a martini and no one cares. And then they, they actually call, they commiserate with me and uh, me and I was going to say me and David, me and Alex like, oh my God, guys, how do I get more than 300 views on my girl sipping a martini? Because no one relates to your girl sipping yeah. a martini, dude. No one cares. Okay. You know what they want to see? They want to see Mr. B and his wife having fun on a crap table, dude. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They want to see, you know, Patty. You know, trying to figure out where to buy his next cod uh, fish sandwich in town. You know what I'm saying? This is what people care about, what other people care about. Yep. They don't care about some fake, you know, n nothing. You know, I, don't, I can't relate to a girl drinking a martini at some, you know, hotel room because that's like, no, I'm never going to be anywhere near that. Yep. Right? So we make you the star. You want to be a social media star? We literally have a social media crew that goes around asking people if they want some engagement. So you have a record of your visit. You have an experience. And you know what? It's not going to go to you. It's going to go up on our site. It's going to go up on our site showcasing all this activity, all this yeah. fun, all this engagement. And you're going to love it. You're going to absolutely love it. You'll be able to go home and say, hey, I'm on the, you know, Casino Quest, uh, you know, Casino Weekend. You know those mags that used to come out for uh, the clubs out yeah. here? And you would, see, you would see some, you know, fake-ass people <laughs> posing like, hey, look at me. I'm at this club and I'm, you know. Yeah. How about regular people, dude, on regular vacations? And they're the stars. I was about to suggest that or like, yeah, like a photo booth, like a casino photo booth, like right there or something, you know, to mm. commemorate, you know. Something. Right on the tables, dude. Yeah. Big hand, and you, you know, we'll, oh, right, we'll get around taking we'll, pictures. So. People take a pace, get it. Yeah, pictures, yeah. engagement. All right, mm -hmm. uh, let's get to um, you know the the other thing I, I I wanted to add is that we have a shopping experience that's built around the player, and not not so much that's you know about jewelry and about you know okay you won a lot of money now spend it here, but something that is we, we know players, we know players, we know gamblers, and we know end users, we know our dealers. That's why we shop for stuff. Yeah. that we think you will want not just crap that's just you know uh either cheap or ridiculously over you know what i mean we shop for stuff like we we got these poker cases specifically because they're durable yep. and they'll they'll la it's something that you can lug around and it'll it'll keeps your all the chips uh tight it has a really nice tight fit keeps all your car you know what i mean it's not just some casual thing that you buy that's you know from wherever you yep. know what i'm saying so we're we're focused on that. We have pet cards here. People come in and they're like, "Oh my God, their pet cards are so expensive." They're a little more expensive because they're pitch cards. They're they're yep. built a certain way. They're made of, with they're all plastic. They're they're you know they're bendable. They're scratchable. They're waterproof. You follow? Yeah. And I mean, because why would you do? You know, you wanna you wanna waste money. We got those cards too. We got the cheap versions if you want those, but you know those suck. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're gonna use them or pitch them, all right. So, um, all right, let's get to the casino park because this we're going to have a lot of things. So I'm going to kind of run down the thing and then me and, me and Alex and Alex is going to take point and, and talk more about the tables. Go. Super chats real quick. Oh, we got more? Yep, I heard the dingies. Those are those dingies? Yep. All right, good. Thank you guys very much. Those Appreciate are the it. only dingies we're okay Yeah, with. we like the dust dingies. <laughs> Alan uh -huh. Toy ah, used yeah. his uh, member for 15 months uh, chat. Fantastic. Said, Three months to Vegas, some major stroking on craps tail, 48 on a four, 47 on a five, 40 oh on a God. six, oh God. 47 on an eight, 49 oh on a nine, and oh, 69 oh, on a 10. Oh, all well, working on the come out. Alex can work the 10 for you. Yeah. but Luckily, there's that, a thing in the thing we're going to talk about later. So, yeah, we are yeah. going to talk about that. Yeah, uh, we got we got something for you, Alan. We got yeah. how to not Alanize your uh, your casino. Analyze. Analyze your casino. Hey, and where that, are my damn coins, buddy? Anyways, anyways go ahead. Toby Lawson. Yeah, yes. four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Didn't say anything. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank sir. You, Toby. Thank you, Toby. All right, good. That's it. All right, we're okay. gonna get to the casino. This is gonna be the most interesting part because, as you know, we're casino dealers, educators, all that stuff. Mm. 
And uh, ready? We're gonna go down this list. It's gonna be quite quite stunning because a lot of you that are are gamblers, obviously, are missing the big experience. And one of these, I actually talked with a dude who used to be the president of some company, and you know, might have may or may not have been involved in some sexual harassment. And you know, he thought this was a great idea, and he had anyway. <laughs> Um, all right, ready? I got I got an idea Dennis thought about that people are going to love. Okay. You, you know how you know the best way to do learning you know the thing that sucks about learning tables is that they use these promo chips or they use no chips. There's a, there's some tables where they just try to Correct. explain it they to you. They just explain it. Because they're not allowed to push out checks until you buy in, which that sucks because you can't learn anything. Re yeah. re you know, ridiculous. I have worked on a table where they had promo chips out, but one two small stacks so you could deviate. Just two stacks, they put it in the cum and they would they would have you as the dealer work the promo chips and try to explain. Okay. And no one gets it. Very few people convert and, and actually buy in from there. You follow? How about a bird game as a tub? And you let people buy in for 20 bucks is your lesson. And then you play the birds while the teacher educates them. So, yes, they're in 20 bucks. But ultimately, you know, mm -hmm. maybe you give them a coupon or something. But they get to experience this sort of low-rent game, you know, okay. a real cheap game. And maybe you could do that on roulette. Do it like a dime game or a 25 cent game so that people can buy out, lower the threshold, and it's just a training game. I love it. You know, it's for education. You know how much fun that would be? That's the yeah. best way to learn. As a casino opera, I'd be like, okay, now it's time for me to show you how Martingale works. <laughs> One quarter, two quarters, four quarters. <laughs> yeah, 100%. And oh, I have to rebuy again. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're at $1,800 from happens? 25 cents? See, what happens is yeah. you don't have enough Martingale, so you need to get more money out and put yeah. it down. You yeah. Chase riding the dragon. But how much fun would that be having like a tub game where you have one dealer, okay. you put four people or five people at a time, yeah, and you started a bird game. You started a level that people can actually afford let them play why do you need to have them come in for a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars let them buy in for 20 bucks uh, people would want to learn people may actually engage with these with these uh, teaching tables yeah. okay the other one is one of the one of the things i feel is missed in a big way in the casino environment is that there's zero personality you hand in your card okay the floor supervisor there's one guy walking up and down getting cards swiping them boom it's a really a very static thing but ultimately, you remember when you used to be able to write comps at some level? Yes. A pit boss used to be able to say, because you you felt special, dude. Yeah. Not only were you accumulating points in a player, but you, but you felt special going, hey, man, you know, how about dinner? You know, it, a lot of people, you know, have really missed that level of engagement. Yeah, I you know agree with that. I mean, uh, just because even if even if the even if they're limited to maybe a ten dollar discount or you know whatever the case is, maybe not a full comp because I know you know it can get expensive now, especially with you know the way the restaurants work nowadays. Holy crap! But you know people miss that, and there's no re pit bosses. I mean, a lot of us now game. We don't even talk to the pit boss other than to give them the card. Yeah. There are some tables where you don't have to even you swipe it yourself. You don't even need to interact with anybody. Yeah. It's it's that part of the experience where you felt special. You know where where the casino gave you a reason to engage and and because floor supervisors used to have to actually talk and communicate and smile and have personality. Yeah, you represent the property. Now they could just sit back and talk crap about us. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Hate those guys. Hate those guys. Hate the anyway. Who was that, buddy? Well, huh? I want to mention, Go. too, before we keep going. Yep. I think the biggest thing about our casino that I would tell you right now before we keep moving to it, I think the biggest thing is the training and the staff, customer service, and procedures would be from management down. It would not be like this whole like nebulous nonsense and everyone oh. has their own procedures and oh, things. Oh, that's big, dude. That's the it, biggest thing. It's amazing how many – you you a lot of you don't realize this. It makes it very difficult for us to train dealers. We, every casino, every shift, lots of different bosses have different ways of doing things. Yeah. Like it's unbelievable. So, so we teach people to break in, right? And then when they go to the casino, there's there's some guy there's who is some dude taking it upon himself to be like, oh no, we're gonna do it this way. And he's like, I don't care what anybody else told you. Yeah. While I'm here, this is how it's done. Yeah, it's silly. It, it, it makes no sense. It's such nonsense. Yeah. And so that's the one thing I will mention: the management uh -huh. on down procedures and customer service will all be uniform yep it's I, that's even, even it's like you know dice there's so in nevada there's there's nothing regulating the rules so so and and the procedures so like you know we we have this conversation with the dealers you have to be prepared to just you know if you have a boss if boss tells you to do it a different way i mean you just you got to go with it there's no there's nothing that says it has to be done differently yeah 
Uh, so it, it makes it troublesome, especially if you're a player and you go to one casino and you're used to dealing with interacting with the dealer a certain way. And then the next casino, it's a completely different set of standards. Yeah. It, you know, it's hard to work with that, but all right, here's one, one of the other, one of the other things, this is another conversation I have with a high level boss. Okay. So this high level boss that I talked with was somebody who worked themselves up from the hotel uh, operations side. Uh, and they became a very high level boss and they were good friends of mine. I had, I, I wasn't at that level, but it just happened. We were, we interacted with each other as friends and he was, he always commiserated to me about how casinos were just letting go of all their low to mid end play. Correct. They, they just, they, they literally like focused on this high end play and then they relied on this amenity rich kind of scenario yeah. that, that was slowly because all the casinos sort of got into this. Uh, they got into this mode, this bean counter mode of really trying to wind down what they were giving away for free. They were monetizing literally every part of the experience. Correct. So, because so, casinos used to make all their money in gaming, well, not all their money, but food was sort of secondary. That was a lure. Shows was a lure. You know, a lot of these things were yeah. feeders to get you into the property, gamble, lose your money, and go home. You follow? And now these are money makers. You got Michelin star restaurants costing six hundred, seven hundred dollars, right? I mean, that's yeah. that's hopefully that's a money maker. Uh, but you know, so so now they get you on the rooms. They, that was another thing. The rooms were typically free yeah. or, or, or or heavily discounted now that's not so they they they've now gone to this thing where they're looking at these these room average rates right and casinos want to really lock in these breakpoints so so the bean counters look at these numbers and they're like why is our average room rate down we're gonna get to we're gonna get to that in, in, in a minute but um, so here here is one of the options here's one of the things that we talked about is you can lock in your bet and lock in your bankroll for an amenity type experience so for example if you're willing to come to a property and say, I'm a $10 player with $10,000, yeah. you can lock in. That creates an equation that the, the casino can look at and yeah. say, hey, let me give you the room. Let me do this for you without you having to, you know, you know, gather 100,000 points. Correct. If you play, let's say like you play, you buy in this much cash and you play for this many hours, we'll yep. give you this. We'll give you that. And then if you meet that criteria and, and you lock that in before you even show up, you literally go, yeah. I wouldn't you, wouldn't that be the casino you will go to and you would stay there you know one of the biggest problems casinos have nowadays right and, and many of them just don't care Mo a lot of people come to vegas 80 percent. it's a really high percent by the way some of these stats are from about a couple years ago when i did the study but it's amazing the number of people that come with just a hotel reservation and no other plan uh, because they may or may not play yeah. at the casino. Many of you, you'll stay at Caesars, you stay at Arias, you, you stay at whatever hotel, but ultimately you go to the casino you feel is the best fit, which may not be the one that you're you're staying at, right? Yeah. So so how do you engender, you know, how do you get people motivated to stay at your property? Well, how about you lock them in? How about you, they call in advance and say, listen, I'm willing to pay $25 average bet over, you know, this is the bankroll I'm coming with. Let me lock in my... You know, before yeah. I get there, I don't need to. I don't need to make a hundred thousand points. I, I'm going to commit to you. I'm going to play my money there. All right, go. I'm going to. I'm going to actually stop you. Okay. Uh, imagine set. Get ah. $2. Wow. Wow. Spend it all in one yeah, that guy's loaded. Dude. <laughs> that guy's loaded. Good. Wow. And then while I'm that is so it, funny. I'm some more super chats. You fucker, Timmy. We That's one you. finger on the Timmy, dude. That's yeah. what that buys you. Go ahead, yeah. buddy. What I got? Uh, Neo. Neo, okay. Says, has anyone talked about the drinking games at the Westgate? Drink anytime someone says COD. <laughs> I don't want to die. Oh, God. This COD thing has gone so far, dude. I mentioned it once on a video, and it literally no, has a life of no. its own. Not just once. No. Not just you once. mentioned it for one month. Oh, my God. Really? A whole month? Oh, my God. All right. Well, well here we go. Ready? All right. Okay. So you're locking your bets. Here's another thing. Don't take advantage of player ignorance. Let's stop. We're going to get to the tables in a minute, but but you know before we get that, we're going to wind our way through the slots. It, it slots and things, things, things. It's amazing the casinos that just say, listen, most people do not come with any education. Most people do not start with our channel. They don't learn. They don't, they don't come to Casino Quest. They just show up at the casino, and they're just lured in. They see this great slot machine. They see this table with lights. Whatever the case is, they're just lured and they start playing and going for it. And and the casino has a choice to make, right? They can either they can either just you know roll out single zero roulette or link machines with these silly paybacks and all this stuff. Because if if the if the player ever does get educated, they're gonna feel taken advantage of. I don't want that person to feel. I don't want them when they you come here. I want you to walk away and and even ten years later know that you. 
It was a good experience. It was yeah, a value added experience. We're gonna try and actually give our own version of responsible gambling, responsible gaming. That's it. So these casinos not, that are constantly pamphlet. taking advantage. Yeah. And and here's here's you know um, here's how one of the ways they take advantage of you, and we talk about this a lot, is they they tell you that there's a payback, but they offer it on the top line. Most of us want to just come out to Vegas, and we understand we're probably we may not win, probably not gonna win, but we want to play. Yeah. We don't want you to take all our money and tell us like somehow, my God, there that sign says ninety nine percent payback, honey. How come I lost all my money? What happened to that? Because you didn't hit the max bet. The max bet is the pay line. The max bet is the payback. You follow? Yeah. I would rather sit at a machine that gave me more ass, more time, smaller jackpots maybe, and gave me an opportunity to play and enjoy myself. Correct. You know what I mean? You know they did. And they did a study. Uh, uh, they did a study on these casinos that were sort of moving away from this ass and seat slots or ass and seat experience to these sort of let's just take all their money and give them this big top prize and and most people veered most people showed loyalty to the ass and seat equation because i i know that if i could spend more time playing i feel like i'm luckier there even though that may not be true and i never hit you know what i mean yeah i feel like i'm, I'm able to have more fun if i go to a casino and i get donked out uh, every time just or like that like, yeah you're, you're just there to get milked milk you know? Like if they have all triple zeros, yeah, or, it's ridiculous. We're gonna, and we're gonna get to the the tables. Okay, I'm so, gonna just read. Go ahead. The last couple of super chats. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike with dice gave us four dollars, uh, five dollars. Can't wait for the B day bash. I'll be there Thursday. Thank Fantastic. you so much. Thank you. And then uh, Dark Squalls mm -hmm. says Alex rolls a lot of four and ten. So when he rolls, put this on the ten so I can uh, prepare. Yeah. Dude. I'll be there next year when I can join. He gave us five dollars. Fantastic. So and then Mike Thank with you. dice gave us another dollar. Oh, fantastic! I know it's amazing, dude. Alex and those fours and ten. If you lay the four and ten when Alex is shooting the dice, uh, you're a masochist. Yeah, you're you're looking for some trouble, dude. That's not even thing. All right, next is ready. This is tough for some places nowadays because there's such a lack of people. But you gotta overstaff, dude. You, you, you can't have people waiting around. People yeah. want to get want to get where they're going, want to do what they want. That was the one thing that Rio did so well. Uh, it was amazing. If the one thing, there was never the way for drinks. Uh, yeah. Tables were always going. I mean, they always had staff. And people loved working there, man. And I will tell you right now, our casino will always be busy. Yeah, no. Uh, our casino will always be busy. Yep. I can promise you that. Yep. All right. Uh, a few other things. No tipping limits for, uh, you know, you want to tip, you want to be generous. God bless you. You know, make, uh, listen, you make a lot of money for our dealers. Our dealers are going to be excited to be part of that experience. Yeah. So excited dealers make for excited people and excited games, all that stuff. And no one's going to sweat the money. You know what we're going to do? We're going to, I'm going to sit there on a crap table. We're going to have, you get on a hot roll. We're going to, we're going to count it up, dude. Yeah. We're going to put you on the board. Well, we're going to let everybody know how better, excited. I had a better idea than that, sir. Yep. You need me? Okay. Yeah. All right. What? You got a better idea? <laughs> Apparently, we have, Alex was summoned in the middle of a podcast. Oh, my God. All right. Can you go get him quickly? Uh, all right. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to sweat the money. We're not going to have anybody. We're going to count up your rolls. Uh, if you hit a big jackpot at our casino, we're literally going to take a picture, and uh, we're going to create as much engagement for you as possible. And uh, meanwhile, while Alex has been uh, dragged away, we're going to go. Let's give away something. We'll wait for Alex to get back. We'll take this opportunity to give something away. Uh, and then uh, we're going to get to uh, some of the other. Did By the way, did I mention that there's got to be a huge Kino Lounge? I mean, huge Kino Lounge for me and Alan Toy to hang out in. And maybe Mr. B when he's not when he's done cashing out on the craft table. You know, it's funny. Mr. B, every time I've seen you. Uh, I will go to the crap table, and there you are, coloring up, coloring up. Uh, do you ever lose money playing craps? I just, it's kind of like this weird thing. I'm yeah, sure you do. What, Mr. B? Does he lose money playing craps ever? Does he lose money? I mean, I mean, sorry. I did okay with them at dice con. No, I know. All right, ready? Okay. Here we go. Let's let's do this because you're away. I wasn't sure how long you were gonna be away for. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and give one of your birthday bash lanyards away. Okay. All right. And uh, I do have this. Uh, I don't know what size this is. Is this the same size 12, maybe? I don't know. Got some fat fingers, Daddy. I do. I do. They get fatter with time. All right. You ready? Uh, let's give this away. And um, uh, we'll first pick the word, and then uh, I got an interesting question for you guys. All right. Let's pick the word. I guess casino, dude. Mm. All right. You. I'll pick the word. <laughs> casino. Just put casino. While that's going on, so just to let you know, I want to do the idea that they have in Reno, where they have a roll counter. Oh. And then it's like top of the day. 
yeah. the top of the month, and then all time. And get paid? <laughs> yeah. You get paid? A monthly and a daily, yep. whoever wins. Yeah. Like, you know, like just like the Fremont, I, I think there's a modification. You do the hat, the jacket, and also, too, uh, top of the day, top of the month. By the way, that that is one of those things that, all right, so we did casino. Are they typing in casino? Do yeah, we have a minute? Casino. All right. That was another thing that Dennis loves. So I used to tell him the El Cortez, like who goes to the El Cortez? Uh, who really likes, I mean, El, I mean, anyways. <laughs> Just so, roasting the crap out of El Cortez. But Jackie got, got people to go to the El Cortez. You know why? Because he gave away those damn jackets, dude. He gave away everything. If you hit a slot machine, he gave something to you. You got a souvenir. It made people, people wanted those jackets, dude. Yep, you know what yep, I'm saying? Yep. So so how about, you know, you know what, what I love? There was another casino in town that used to have a, a souvenir host. That used to go around, and if they saw you with certain credits on your machine, like playing, you got a souvenir, dude. And if you got a hand pay, the, the great thing about the Gold Coast, when the, when Michael uh, Michael Jackie's son owned the yeah. Gold Coast, every time you hit a hand pay, they would have it would be a seasonal thing. So one season, I hit a hand pay, and it was uh, it was uh, the fall season, dude. I got like can it was a basket with candles. I'm like, dude, can it was like candles. <laughs> It was like something like, you know, maybe an older lady or, you know, I, I was like, what am I going to do with all this crap? But every season they had something that you can like, a, you know, a basket of stuff that you yeah. got on top of, you know what I mean? So you had the memory. Hard Rock used to give you for a period of time. They gave you this tin. If you hit that, it was so cool. It was a hard because everything from the Hard Rock was collectible, dude. My, meanwhile, everything got stolen uh, out of my storage. Yeah. Damn it. But uh, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be cool to have people going around the casino? Because again, you're you're creating memories, dude. People want to come back and go to the places where they have these fond, this fondness yeah. for, these <clears throat> memories for. You follow? Yep. Uh, okay. Ready? All right. Well, let's stop. Right. Really quickly. Go. You know, it says how many craft sales do you have? Uh, do you plan on having in the new casino? A lot. A shit ton. A shit ton. Yeah. Yeah. We would get some really interesting. T- First of all, you'd be able to plug in your phone. One of the things I would love to build in the rail is a little bit of separator. Uh, so everyone got their own space and could put their stuff at their knee without without worrying about it getting stolen. I've always thought that was a missed opportunity, right? Yeah. Uh, we'd hashtag the rail so you can you can own your experience. But get this, wait, ready, wait for it. If you have, you can actually on our app, you can tag a table and tag a rack for five minutes. So if you see a rack go free, so if you're someone that wants to go left or right a stick or next to base or down the center, you'll be able to tag a rack. So the minute it goes free, it, who's playing with that mouse? What's going on with this mouse? The mouse it's running across it. Dennis. Oh, is it? <laughs> uh, you'll be able to tag that space for yourself. You'll see on the app what spaces and what seats are available at the, on the casino floor. Oh. So yeah. you don't have to walk around looking everywhere. You'll know what seats, and you'll be able yeah. to tag it and All give yourself games. so you don't have to rush. You know how you have to rush. Oh my God, there's a there's a spot available. You'll have five minutes, maybe maybe more, but five minutes I think is fair. You'll have five minutes to get to that thing. The rack will be reserved for you. It'll it'll have a little light will go on. The dealer knows that it's reserved. Someone's on its way, and they'll match it up with your phone. You'll be like, hey, this is rack seven. That's for me. You follow? Yep. And so so because a lot of you like to play at a certain place, and and it gets frustrating. You have to go to some other place, or you yeah. don't get there in time. Yeah, it's great for any table game in general. And, and and think about this. You you know when you walk up to a table and you're like, hey, which rack are you in? And now they move to the rack that you wanted. You follow? Yeah. This is a clear signal. This is what this is going to be your rack or your seat yeah. you like to play first base third base on a blackjack table you know what i mean uh so this is a way for you to lock in i think that'd be a fantastic opportunity <laughs> anyways let's, let's go let's get them to stop uh, stop stop uh oh, one through 20 go nine let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine og mr g you are the winner there og you mr g you get the land here buddy uh, I might even send you a little something extra because it seems like the lantern is so light. You know what I mean? We got all this mm-hmm. stuff coming in. Uh, okay. Uh, you have to give us, by the way, you have to email or DM, DM right? And we got to, uh, we'll get just, it out right away. Just email. I usually type email. in chat. Yep. Got to email us. If you don't email us, we can't. We don't know where the hell we to send it. We will literally anything. forget. <laughs> and we'll forget, dude. Yeah. So you have to email us. Uh, and if you don't get a response right away, make sure to email again. When I say yeah. right away, give us like 48 hours. After this podcast, we go home, go to sleep. And the next day sometime, but but like 24 hours, then we'll get back to you. Well, okay. before we get back to it, let me yes. read two more Super Chats. Uh, uh, three more Super Chats, actually. Thomas mm. gave us $4.99 $4. and says, got my lanyard today. Thank you, guys. You're the best. Yes, thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, and we're sending out some more care. Pa- we well, we sent out a bunch of care package to our top patrons. Yep, our VPs. Uh, we we are reworking some of those uh, Patreon experience for those of you on standby. I and here, hey Timmy, we're finally reworking it, buddy. Uh, you know, I know a lot of you guys are at that three dollar tier. We're gonna throw some videos. Uh, that, yes, there's no daily benefit on the three dollar tier, by the way, just so we're clear. But uh, all right, we're if we get to two hundred likes, can we do that? Can we say that? Uh, we are going to give away a, a another lanyard in the ring free, uh, and uh, so we'll see what the what the engagement. Is. So get busy if you aren't already. Alan Toy is already in a hundred likes, dude. He has so many accounts; it's ridiculous, Perfect. dude. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, next super chat, Avery or Avery. Uh, um, okay, says gave us ten dollars. Says thank you for showing the how to lay the six and eight. I have won lots of money on this system. Fantastic. Is that a system I did? <laughs> <laughs> it was a uh, it was a six and eight where you lay on the, the six and oh. eight like the straight legs. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent, dude. It's amazing how how that's a lost opportunity. Well, one of these days I'm gonna have to like expound on that because uh, it's I have so many great stories. All right, uh, good. Principal Skinner, he's now named the Traveling Panda. Says, oh, how, are you serious? Yeah, he changed his YouTube name. Oh my god. Uh, how many Anna Bahar and uh, Fantan? Oh, Fantan. Fantan. You ready? I Fantan know. tables Shh, will I there be. I have you the got this? for that. Yeah, oh, yeah. go, go, buddy. No, no, no. I mean, we're going to keep we're, going. Buddy. Oh, uh, so, so yeah. <laughs> so, so one of the things before we get to the end and we start, we start working on uh, one of the other ideas we had is, you ready? We're going to have a pit. So if you're a table game developer and you get the math worked out and you get to that level, that stage where you can put together, you know, uh, a, a game. So, so here's the thing. There's lots of really fun games out there to play. All right. Uh, but very often, so what, what casinos are like, nah, you can't, you know, it's not gonna be a thing. It's it's really hard to get a game, a new game on the floor. It really is. It's very difficult. Some now some casinos have like pits focused on these, you know, new games that you can come and play. But it's rare that they last. But let's say you're developing a game and you're a small business and you want a little, and the casino's looking for engagement. You know what? You sh- the casinos could put these games up for for free. Let people play them for free. But here's the catch. Not just for free, for real money. Mm-hmm. You make it a dollar a quarter game, 25 cent by, by quarter, 25 cent game or dollar game. You let people play, right? Because so, so a lot of times when you, you, you lack the focus group experience, so yeah. you lack all the user data. So guess what? You know how you get user data? Having users play the damn game, right? <clears throat> so you have, you offer a game on the, and we're going to do, we're going to have a pit. We're going to have a pit for developers, new stuff. If you want to innovate the casino environment, but you know what? You're going to be able to see in real time whether your stuff works, whether anybody likes your stuff. Uh, and we're going to provide it not just for free, but we're going to, we're going to basically pay you to interact with this space. Okay. So we will <laughs> offer a, a free game that pays you. So if you win, you actually win. You don't win a lot. But how, how fun would that be just to sit down? I know a lot of people, me personally. Yeah, human testing. Human testing. And you're getting paid for it in a live environment. Yeah. Now, the catch is you got to provide some feedback, you know what I mean, after you test it. Like because any sort of test group. Like any kind of test group, but you're in a real casino environment. You can hashtag the experience. Hey, guess what? I played this brand new game. It's you know f- never been released. You can film it. It's social media friendly. I mean, instead of all the roadblocks that go up, it's it's quite stunning. Like uh, there there are a few casinos that put these they do what ninety day trials on the floor, and then they have the developers pay for the space, this kind of thing. But ultimately, if you had a game, not only did you offer it for free, but you paid people, you let people yeah. actually play the game and get paid. Uh, that's a win for everybody, and and gets uh, you know people innovating, uh, people uh, sort of evolving the experience. Okay. Yep. Are you ready, buddy? Yep. All right, we're going to get to what a lot of people have been waiting for is a table game experience. I guess the first big question is how many craps tables would we have? I would say at least four. Yeah, we'd have at least four. Um, as many as, as we have players. I mean, realistically, yeah. I would I would love to see six tables. Yeah. I, I would even entertain a crapless craps game. I will tell you guys, I know it's become popular, but the hold on crapless craps is really high. Because no people go on tilt and they bet ridiculous bets. I mean, yeah. you know, a, a twelve a, betting a place bet on twelve is a bit is a bit absurd. But and the holds are very high. I mean, you know, the hold is uh, a lot more than a regular crap yeah, table. Great. I I know I know we talked about that uh, <clears throat> before. Uh, so so I I you know I would do it as sort of and then maybe change the place bet paybacks things like this to give people a little better advantage. Um, but ultimately, as many crap tables possible. I would have a bird game. 
Uh, the training table at our at our casino would literally be a tub bird game. We'd only entertain X number of people at a time. We can't run full. When I say bird game, by the way, I mean 25 cent tables. You wouldn't be able to run them, you know, as full games, the multiple dealers, because obviously they, they don't they don't generate a lot of revenue. But in terms of getting people into the game, I mean, how cool would that be? How many of you out there have like a spouse, a loved one, a friend who really doesn't know the game, is not wanting to invest a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars? And you know they can play uh, 25 cents and until they get a little acclimated to the game, learn a bit of strategy, and then move on to the yep. big boy tables. Blackjack's the same way. How about a dollar blackjack training table? But again, you only have one at a time. You have scheduled sessions. You can buzz in your seat, right? Because you have the app. Every seat will be tagged. So if you want a seat, you're looking for a certain seat, you want to get on that training table and play, that's fine. You yeah. know, you'd be limited at one session per visit, that kind of thing, because clearly those would be popular. Everybody wants yeah. to be at a dollar table. But but there you go. All right. So what else you got, buddy? How many triple zero wheels do you think you'll have? Uh, zero. Yeah. How many single zero? Uh, I would say quite a bit. Quite a bit. I would say. Even would we, we stick with single zero and even would we bother with double zero? <clears throat> I would say both. Both. I think double zero. Even if we're going to even do it, let's say like a like a $5 minimum double zero, $10 single zero. Yeah. But, I, but, you know, the biggest thing I think is just like, for example, like the dice games. I think like if we did a 10 times odds, that'd be cool. 20 yep. times odds. Yep. You know, just to make it really incentivize Auto you. buys on the four, five, nine, and 10. Yeah. Make it better than any other casino here in town. Mm -hmm. Now, will the hold be great for us? No, but that's not our goal. No, that's you know? right. But we would, we would pack the place <clears throat> all the time. We would never commiserate about the rooms being full. The casino floor being pulled, uh, and and ultimately we would just create an experience for everyone. Everyone's right. getting paid. You know we you know one of the one of the real takeaways in some cases is this, this huge shareholder interest, yeah. right? Yeah. So everybody's trying to pay back to the shareholder. Are the shareholders making enough money? Meanwhile, the shareholder's only investment is buying stock on Robinhood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like me. You know, I want my shares to go up. I do. Uh, but if I'm a casino operator and, and that's where me and me and Alex have been having a whole different conversation. So we've gotten invitations to have, you know, double up on casino, open casino quests in, a, in quite a few other markets. And, and frankly, you know, we we would at some point, we're probably going to need an investment, we're probably going to have a shareholder. And we've hesitated to do that. We've what's called bootstrapped the business so far using only our resources yeah. and the revenue from this business. Uh, because you know we haven't wanted a shareholder because every time uh, you know a shareholder comes in and next thing you know yep. they're trying to dictate the real. We've done pretty well for ourselves, dude. We've come a long way. You know what I mean? Our and wizard skills. Are our right. wizard skills are off the charts, dude. Uh, and uh, we get along well. You know, so so you have you know these casinos have shareholders and these shareholders have to make money. And and this is where the bean counters keep. You know, how can we maximize profits? How can we? For our shareholders, how about how can we maximize the experience for our guests? That's our focus, yeah. and that alone will change the reality on the I floor. I think so. No, hundred percent. All right, what else? Let's talk about some other games. So the other part of the games is like pathing and space and having room, having a big enough floor to accommodate the tables. You know, not butts up against other butts kind of thing. You know, uh, one of the you know Resorts World did a fantastic job. Their crap tables have eight racks exactly. Not nine and a half racks, not 11 racks. You're not wondering like, okay, which rack is mine? And how come there's an extra rack here? Eight racks, eight positions, eight racks. You follow? Mm -hmm. it, 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 I don't know why this was doesn't done before now. I, I've, I very rarely have seen a table with exactly eight racks. It seems almost genius, dude, absolute genius. But these are the kinds of experience, these are the kinds of attentions to detail. The things that really, uh, you know, that I think the subtle parts of this experience that that will really take a take a player to another level. All right, ready? Uh, let's talk about uh, ETGs, dude. Let's talk yes. about the electronic table games. Which yes. ones are we gonna have? Which ones are we gonna snag? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I believe there should be ETG and our Bahar. Uh. I believe there should be ETG uh, Sickbo. Ah. And I believe there should be ETG uh, Fantan. Fantan is the one with the, the rice in the cup that I showed you. Oh, before. really? Yeah, and you gamble on how many rice are at the end. Oh, uh, uh, really? Yeah. ETG version, not ETG. a real version? Imagine no. having a real... Because <clears throat> the math, especially like Ender Bahar, the math yeah. is easier. You'd have a person just sitting there counting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that'd be tough. I can see yeah, how yeah. that would so, work out. No, so I think... I think how do you ET teach that? I think ETG versions of that... Um, they have Sikbo at some casinos, no? Uh, Sikbo, but yeah, it's in person. It's not the same. I think... Uh, I think an ETG. Resorts World has a sick bow machine, ETG. Really? Yeah, 100%. I'd have to check it out. Yeah, we went by but, it. it, it but, was, I, but, it I, but just to clarify, I think the ETG, I'm going to rephrase. I think it should be a stadium. 
Stadium yeah. Anna Bahar, Stadium Sikbo, Stadium yeah. that. Yeah, Stadium Dice. And the Stadium Dice would be RNG. Yeah. So those of you who, who are worried about it being rigged, if you came to, came to our casino, it would be RNG. Dude, I, the, the RNG is going to make plenty of money. Why does that have to be rigged? Doesn't have to pay back like a slot machine. Who wants to play it? I don't want to play a dice slot machine. I want to play dice. Yeah. I want I want those dice to not be, you know, feel like it's, you know, rigged. You know what I'm saying? And and quite frankly, if, if it plays like a slot machine, it's a, technically it's rigged. Every point, you know, you're just, you're just working on that curve, right? Yeah. So I would rather have it completely RNG, you know? Uh, same thing. I, I agree. I think I think having these ETG experiences, especially if if they're engaging, keep people in their seats. Uh, as long as the math works, I mean, what what are we worried about? I just think Stadium and our Bahar is the future. Sorry, Brian. Yeah, I know. I swear to God. What's I? But I I would we'd have to break down the math on that one. Are you sure that that's uh, yeah. not a loss? Out? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I know. Because you've done really well in that game, dude. Oh yeah. No, that I mean that's the thing is you just need enough people that's the thing about the what, what they worry about the casino is the casino worries about just making money off that one player but when you have so much business coming in yeah it doesn't really matter at the end of the day yeah you know one of the things i missed <laughs> is uh you know i we talked a minute about the like the rooms you know so a lot of these casinos will, will let rooms go empty because they want to maintain that that average booking rate right yeah but once again it's for shareholders like who cares yeah exactly so you want to return this hey our average booking rate was 99 dollars or 110 we wouldn't care we just want to fill up the room so as the rooms as it becomes closer to that night i would want to keep and that's what that's how hotels used to work that rack rate used to change yeah. uh you know that hotel manager used to assess okay we got eight rooms and it's 11 o'clock at night let's just yeah. give them away yeah i would want to give them away so if you showed up late at my hotel and we still had rooms guess what they're going to be cheap correct Oh, one more thing too. We forgot to mention. Mm-hmm. We also want to incentivize good players. Oh yeah. We don't oh. want asshole uh, players. Yeah. Please. Okay. Yeah, we do. So right. you know what? That that's like groundbreaking, dude. That's groundbreaking. So if you're someone who really has lots of entitlement or issues, you don't want to get along with other players, because the one of the biggest takeaways we've experienced, and we talk we talk about this <clears throat> quite a bit, is you know. Uh, players who are really just bad. I mean, people bad that are for just business. disgruntled. And yeah. the thing is, like, that's what creates the burnout for the dealers. That's what creates the turnover. Right. So I think our solution is that by incentivizing good players, people that take care of our staff. Right? Yeah. Take yeah, the 100%. dealers, take care of the staff, less turnover, much mm. better morale. It, it, that's a groundbreaking thing. So it's come to the point where it's yeah. so much about the money yep. that they a lot of places let let these players get away with everything. <clears throat> so basically, Alan Toy comes in. <laughs> that's what everyone. No. Forty three dollar five. Yeah, I mean, we're not so worried about that as long as you you know you keep it to yourself. Like yeah. you know what you want to bet, how you want to bet. That's different. But if you're harassing players or you're that guy yelling seven at the craps table constantly just to piss people off, or yeah, you know, we don't or like that. Yeah, we, I mean, or you're just getting drunk, getting hostile, or or you know you're you're constantly in fights with someone. I mean, this is not the kind of you know it's private property. We want to create an experience. We want to create that that's fun, positive. Correct. You, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know of a single other property. There, by the way, that's not true. That's not true. There are a few properties here in Vegas mm-hmm. that really motivate that kind of. Uh, you go in and they the ones that actually like sound like a library where you where you come in and you're like wow it's quiet. Yeah. Very very dignified. Because they, they don't, and then other other casinos, you walk in and there's just someone vomiting like all the time. Yeah. Someone they literally have vomit <clears throat> crews. We won't mention, but there's a casino with a crew. I don't know how much they pay them. I hope it's more than minimum wage, but they're literally the vomit crew. They just yeah. go around cleaning up vomit. What kind? I mean, why would you want that? Why no. why don't you why don't you post some rules? Hey, if you know what I mean? Like no, I, I mean, that. nah. So uh, yeah. What do you think, guys? I mean, what's your feedback? Do we have anybody who's had some questions or, or commentary so far? Or do we have any likes? Do we have any people? Well, I have super chats. Oh, oh really? Go. I, wow. Just out of curious how many people are watching. I mean, yeah. Well, he'll, he'll tell you later. He'll okay. tell you later. Right. Yeah, we do the stats later. We don't okay. want to depress Brian. me. Brian? Brian Carthel. Yeah. Gave us $5. Thank says, you, sir. Uh, being able to see the table limits from the uh, app w- uh, or online would be great. Yes. Duh. Yes, that was nothing. Not only your seats, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, yeah. But so 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 the idea behind, you know, sort of my idea is <clears throat> not only do you see the seats that are available, but you see what kind of table it is. So you can pick the, obviously that's very good. Thank you, sir. So you can you can, you know, cuz obviously if it's if there's a seat available but it's a $100 minimum, you're like, eh, maybe that's not the right seat for yeah. me. If it's a $5 table cuz that's what I'm playing at, 
and they got a seat available. That's the seat for me. That's the one I want to trigger. But yeah, so having having it literally, you know, because you know what I would love to do is not only that, but you could scroll back and see it like a map, like you yeah. can, like you can on your on your car, your navigation. You can literally see the inside of the property. Google Maps has a little of that inside the property. You yeah. can actually see inside where you want to get around. But wouldn't how cool would it be that you could just navigate like to your favorite machine? Yep. You, you you know um I was at a casino uh, a local casino I had I had this uh, really cool uh, conversation there was a couple who were you know going and they were asking like hey they they asked they, they asked around all these slot attendants they were looking for a very specific machine they wanted to play it happened to be a Cleopatra uh f- maybe a five reel it's a slot machine older slot machine it used to be pennies at the plaza and this was their this was their one they wanted to play. None of the slot attendants could give them any information about what machines were where. They had a general idea, like the quarters over here, because they didn't pay attention. They just didn't care. Yeah. And they finally talked to a supervisor, and that was one of the things that they had said, listen, you know, it would be great to have like a roadmap that's updated, and now you could do it online. So if it, like this Dune machine came in that was really popular, a lot of people on it. People looking for Buffalo Links, the Link Buffalo. And, and especially the ones that tap out. So when those links max out, there was one maxed out of Resort World the other day. It got to 20000 Everybody starts sitting down. They want to know where those are. You follow? When we're going through the casino, we're looking for uh, Monopoly, Cheaters Monopoly, or one of those. And, you know, instead of having to walk all around, how about a little, a little map? You know what I mean? Uh, uh, you know, because on a phone you could do it nowadays. You yeah. have the technology is there. You know, you, you can't update a printed map every time, and uh, kids don't yeah. know how to read the. No. Uh, imagine that having a grid map for yeah. your uh, That'd hotel. That'd be great though. Yeah. Table limits, all that stuff. Yeah. You know, on your phone, just and then it directing you. Boom, boom, boom. Go here, yeah. go here, go here. Plus, you're you're part of the ecosystem. You're logged in. You're plugged in. There's they're giving you that casino is giving you constant reason, reasons to engage and yep. to play. You follow? Yep. And you know you're in the right place. You know, if you know that that casino is not giving is not taking advantage of you. If you if you know and their commitment to you, you know, you know, I, I we talk some crap about the El Cortez, but the El Cortez used to have a big old billboard that said, "Listen, we have the highest paybacks in town." And you know, and you know what? The minute you walked in there and yeah. you played you knew you were getting all, all every machine was paid to be the best possible payouts in town. And so there was, you know, if, if you were willing to play there, there was no incentive to leave, especially if you're playing slots. I love playing there. I didn't always feel the safest playing yeah. there, but you know what I'm saying? But I played there and I was happy to, to change machines and go around <clears> because <throat> I read that billboard and I believed it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You walk into our casino and if you know that there's, you know, we're, we're trying to take it, you know, we're not trying to take advantage of you. Uh, guess what? You're going to stay there longer. You're going to play there longer and tell your friends about us. You're going to always feel confident. I also want to mention too, all of our dealers will have personality too. That's the thing. I want it to be like the hottest job in town, better than any high end strip job. Wow. Wow. Really? Yeah, Yeah. no, I literally want dealers to compete because it's so hard to get in. Just like how Vegas used to be. Yep. It's going to be so hard to go there. Yeah. No, hundred percent. Cause we're, we're going to let people just go hog wild. By the way, that, that, that's easy. That's easy. Cause if, if our player players are happy, players, players tip. Or players, yeah. players find a way to tip because yeah. that's part of the experience. They want everybody to be in on the game. Yep. You you have a hot table, and and you have some really friendly dealers. You know, I I was at I was at a, a casino not too long ago where all the dealers were just really sour puss, dude. Yeah. You could tell they they were they were hating. Miserable. Miserable. And and of course yeah. players aren't tipping. Why would they tip? That that just sucks. Grumpy I, McGrumpy face. That's you're what you're the dealer becomes an adversary. Why am yeah. I tipping an adversary? I'm not gonna tip an adversary. But if the yeah. dealer is smiling. And it's providing customer service and it's cheering is part of the action. I mean, it's almost automatic. Yeah. And then like the grump, no more grumpy supervisors. Yeah. No more no, sweating like the money. No yeah, more nonsense, nonsense like this. You know, it, it, listen, if we can't afford to pay, we have lower limits. And we just say, listen, we can't afford to pay. We got 500 off tables. What do you want from us? But uh, but still, you know what I mean? I, I you know, and it, if you're a supervisor and you're sweating the money at a casino that doesn't where you don't need to sweat the money yeah. what's the matter with you what are you doing why are you working there it's not your money let it go bb Sp- yeah supervisors you're not getting a bonus no no i mean it's, it's amazing we used to have this guy with sitting box on and he was a reason why i hated boxman N- normally i'm pro boxman normally i'm all about the box because i feel like it creates some separation between the dealer if yeah. i need a bad guy the bad guy is this guy yeah we're pro box here we're pro box mm-hmm. uh but this guy, he was always so grumpy. Every time he, he got in the way, you know, if a player had an issue, just say, hey, you know, because sometimes you just want the boxman to clarify a rule. He'd be like, dude, 
if you don't know how to play, go play somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right away with the nastiness, you didn't you didn't want anything to happen yeah. where this guy had to be involved or it would just piss people off, yeah. right? So that's a takeaway. Nobody wants that. No. You know what I mean? Here's the thing, you know, at the rate of which we're growing, once we get a few more of these, uh, yeah, we're going to go down this road. And for all those people who counted us out, which none of you, thankfully, uh, because we, we thank all of you every day for us being here. Uh, we we uh, so as as just as a really quick milestone. Yesterday we had our <coughs> our interview with the YouTube Partnership Program because now we're over a certain threshold. Partner management program. Partner management program, and it, it was quite stunning the the kinds of feedback they the positive feedback they had, and and she was you know we we place uh, our dealer school places about a thousand people a year in good paying jobs and on the path to good paying careers. Uh, so, you know, I mean, and if for anyone to take away anything from that, uh, you know, they, they're, they're less a human, you know what I mean? I mean, let's be realistic, you know, yeah. uh, just this week we managed to employ over 20 people, give or take. And they're always so impressed at how, how quickly the casinos, cause casinos need good dealers. Yeah. They need well-trained dealers and they're on the way to, uh, going from, you know, maybe minimum wage or lower wage jobs to a fantastic, uh, career in gaming Not all, yeah. not everybody stays. Of course, people transition in life. Uh, but anyways, being part of this YouTube program, it was, it was pretty stunning because she can see the trajectory of the channel through COVID and, and we, and it was pretty stunning because many of you that are with us, you know, when you guys were there with us, I mean, we, we, we literally are here because of you. We're literally yeah. having this conversation right now. We literally have uh, venture capitalists and, and equity groups that have reached out to us uh, recently because of you. We, we were out of business. We were done. Uh, but we have stayed true. We have stayed true. And we have focused on the thing we do best, and that's teach, that's educate, that's uh, kind of facilitate, you know, the plan. Yep. And it hasn't been easy. You know, we have uh, a, a few people. We've rustled a few feathers along the way. Some people don't like to hear the truth. Uh, uh, some people, the truth just buries them a little bit, but this is how we would build a casino and we're coming. Uh, we may not own the casino itself, but I think we're going to have a role. People are going to look for us, uh, cause influencers are having <clears throat> more to say, uh, look what happened to us in our last, um, coming out party. Mm -hmm. Now we're having our next party. It's just going to be fantastic. Yep. So we're looking forward to all you guys coming out and we're, we're going to demonstrate, you know, our community, we're going to have fun. Uh, we're going to win money, not win money. I don't think the winning money is always the objective. I think just maximizing our opportunity, mm -hmm. maximizing the fun that we have, and, and creating a space for all of us to enjoy it together. But we are going to get a hot roll on craps. We are going to get yeah. – Alex <laughs> is going to roll, and Alex may have a drink or two, and he might get all DJ. We hit table max at Jet and Dennis's birthday at Jerry's Nugget. Uh, I know. Can we do it again? They had it in green, dude. I yeah. couldn't believe it. That guy would not convert those bets to black. Yeah. It was just all green. Uh, those poor girls, dude. They were hitting Oh, at like, Binion's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At Binion's, Binions yeah. Binion's, yeah. $450, six. Jerry's not going to hit the eight. Oh. That guy mic'd the dice in the middle of a roll. I, I have never seen that. No, no one I know has ever seen that. But you talk about sweating the money. That guy literally they took yeah. the dice off the table and mic them in the middle of a roll. For, he knew they were his dice. He's got eight eight ways of looking at the dice and figuring out that they're his. He was just trying to slow up the game and trying to change the dynamic. That guy gave me a card. He's like, anytime you guys want to play, I'm like, yeah. After that miking dice experience, I think we're going to pass, dude. We're going to leave this one for you, buddy, okay? Uh, but anyways, all right, ready? How many? Um, uh, I got more super chests. Oh, go. Dirty Lurker says, yep. can Alex invite Booba for the 19th time? Bubba? Booba. 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 Customer service. Oh, that's customer service. Mm -hmm. uh, All about it. Oh, that's some inside stuff. Okay, go. What do you got? Dan uh, gave us $5 super chat. says, I think someone needs to make higher craps tables, like a counter high at the rack. The short tables drive me insane. Yeah. I, either that or you're able to sit down. There's a sit-down table in Washington State someone told me about, which I thought was kind of cool. Imagine oh, really? sitting down and then, you know, I don't know how you would sit by sitting, but anyways. Uh, yeah, yeah, higher tables for some people, but the thing yeah. is, it makes it tough on the dealer unless you really cut that out. Well, the one thing I like, the Orleans has seats under all the dice games, so all those old Hawaiians. Ah, uh, love it. So they're literally all the box fans still, so everyone has a seat at the dice. So game you only too. stand when you have to shoot. Correct. Oh, that's great, dude. I yeah. love that. Yeah, no, hundred so percent, dude. That that's fantastic. Makes sense. And so. a drink holder. All right, what else? Patty. 
Patty gave us a four dollars and forty nine pounds. Oh god, how much is that now? Is that like that's uh well that's like is oh, that seven even money? Bucks. Seven bucks. Oh, it's time you, and a half. It is more still. I thought I thought yeah. that even maybe it might be, bit. but you know, all right, free inflation. If he it's said, Canadian dollars, it's it's yeah. He said past. not to mention uh, not to mention of the bar or waitress lads. I'll be happy to be the bar manager. Oh. oh. Yeah, hey, 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 that's a great idea. We can hire from inside our community. But, but by the way, we have some fantastic people, all sorts of stuff. Patty owns sets. a pub in England, if you guys uh, don't know. So. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, yeah. Alan Toy will be our prop box boxman. He'll just go around and pay prop box bets. That'll be like the revenge of craps for Four Bester. Bruh. LBD I mean, uh, gave us $5. Thank Currently you, sir. looking at my stock portfolio to see how much I can sell to buy into this little venture. I know. Hey, you know what's funny? We have a, a idea to crowdsource this, believe it or not. So we, we were coming down this road. We, we had another group. You guys would be so amazed to find the people who are reaching out to us. You have no idea. I, I had just last week, so, so get this. We, have, we used to have 104 casinos that we con- communicated with off and on. Now it's about 140 casinos, some of which are literally like – overseas uh you know we have cruise yeah. ships now that are reaching out to us we have different states different countries it, it's quite study we were just asked to move uh, the school to uh, another another couple cities we think we're going to we won't announce it yet until it's a little further down the road but we're going to a city in a couple weeks and uh, we hope to be opening uh ceg and casino quest there simultaneously yep. in, within the next like three or four months we're expanding here uh at the mall uh, but it's quite stunning. We we have had really interesting conversations that, quite honestly, no one thought we would ever have. Uh, but but I think it you know you need you need dealers so we we can actually train dealers, uh, you know, real productive, happy dealers. And then when it comes to you know our instincts have paid off so far. Maybe we know a little something about a little something. You know what I'm saying? Just have a little idea. Everybody counted us out, man. Little you have no idea. idea when we when me and Alex started this and this one. You, I wish we gotta we gotta go back. There's a there's a tailor that moved mm-hmm. into the our old suite, but we used to have this little desk that was our little reception area, and then the school, the school and the desk all in the same place, sort of thing. Yeah. But we would have people come in, and they'd be like, first of all, they would come in, and and they didn't realize that we were such a small thing. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody I mean, thinks that the school is like this massive. Six years ago, we were at twelve hundred square feet. So yeah, so so they thought that we were this little, and they would come in and be like, "Huh?" And then we'd have this conversation. We had this one guy; he was so uncomfortable. He was the president of this company, a pretty large, a, a fairly large company here in town. Well, you know, like forty, fifty million dollars in revenue, and he was like, "I don't get it. I don't understand. What are you guys trying to do? Like, how are you gonna make any money? What's gonna happen?" Yeah, he completely voted us out. In fact, he he hated the idea so much that he talked this other dude out of being involved with us. And now that guy is like, uh, knock, 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 knock. We're like, nah, we're good. We're good. Thank you, yeah. sir. <laughs> Appreciate you. Uh, but anyways, all right, what else do we got? Do we have any me, likes? Does anybody like us? Does anybody me, uh, like? So Gus gave Gus? us $4.99. Thank says, you, sir. See you guys in October. And will the dealers keep their own or tip share? No, um, it's got to share. They can... Uh, I would say keep her own will be really? a good one. Yeah, I think so. The only thing is, it's like there's a lot of like um, nonsense that comes with it. Because like for example, dice game, they don't share with the blackjack. We would just have there would be pure. What about a hybrid, thing. where if you had to you I know give so. up a, a little small percentage? I think it's. Uh, I, I think it, that, so. Some of these big scores can be shared. I've actually I mean? heard that you can do half share, half pool. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. So you get to take advantage of your upgrade, but then you're also, you know, yeah. providing a service to everybody else. Correct. You're part of a team. Half pool, half share. Half pool, half share. I like it. I like it a yeah. lot. I think I think most people would go along with that. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Yeah, hundred percent. Yep, I like it. All right, what else you got? You got anything else? That's all. All the super that's it so far. Uh, that's all we got. And if you're interested in us opening a casino, a couple other things. Uh huh. What about your Kino Lounge? Oh. Gotta have Keto Lounge. Of okay, course. Keto Lounge, so, Lucky Lawrence so, Bingo. Yeah, we gotta have Bingo. So we gotta have all that sort of passive casino elements that people like. I, I I'm not sure if I would still have the smoking section in the bingo thing. To be honest with you, I'm not not the big on the smoking thing. But I I would have an upgraded kind of Keto Lounge 
that was both sort of kino, maybe, you know, we'd have to have a sports book. We'd have to have all the standard yeah. things that go along, but much more cozier. Like we wouldn't, we wouldn't look to have like a casino that we want a boutique type of experience. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, it doesn't need to be the biggest floor. It doesn't need to be, it just needs to be enough. You know, mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be lots of empty seats or lots of empty menus. Kino would be a nice fluffy chairs that people could just relax. Mm-hmm. Get People a are ticket. asking about poker rooms. Yeah, where poker. They can oh, 100%. Yeah. So poker room would be great. You know, yeah. we'd have a, a – go ahead. That for sure. That's what I'm saying. So Kino. Yep. You know, and like, we would do all the things that poker players wanted. We'd have the cage there. You know, you can cash in and cash out. You don't have to go to the regular cage. Yeah. I'm not sure how that ever became a thing. Uh, you know, we'd have the optional games that you want, the sit and goes, you know, a lot of tournament plays. Yeah. We'd cycle those through. I think it would just uh, be Some fun. free rolls. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, uh, you know, we would try to, you know, uh, again, we're, it's all about engagement. You know, we, we, would, we, we understand a lot of what, you know, players are looking for. We're looking for the experience. And when they take these things away, you know, it's, again, it, it just falls down to the economy of a thing, right? Oh, my God, this one person cost us $25,000. You know what I mean? This is, this is going <laughs> to lower our cash. Uh, I think it all works out, man. Casinos did yeah. really well before bean counters came into play. And they were, when they were private entities, less shareholders. And we would look to quite literally duplicate that experience. Agreed. All right, what do you got? Uh, I just want to read this. Uh, Go. Principal Skinner says, where would Charlie Kim's bubble shop be located in the casino? <laughs> oh, my God. We would have to do that, by the way, just for the meme. Can I actually? Uh, so just, what, yeah, go ahead. We were talking about, like, uh, inside Discord. We were talking about Charlie Kim's boba shop mm-hmm. just so I could piss off my dad. Then we'll have a hot dog shop, and then all the wieners are eight inches for good luck. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. We have an idea for that. By the way, we have a, me and yeah. Dennis have a fast casual idea uh, uh, for that. I think uh, I think it's time to call it. It's okay. time to call it a day. Thank you guys very much. Uh, we didn't do. Can we give away the other lanyard? Uh, we're at 174 likes. And is that close enough? Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's do it, dude. That's funny. Uh, all right, we got one more lanyard to go. If you happen not to be here in Vegas, uh, so uh, let's uh, find. What's the other word, dude? Uh, uh, Katie has just gave two dollars. Says, uh, what about a poker room? Uh, we just answered that question. I don't, I don't yeah, know. poker yeah, room poker for sure. 100. percent Yep. Uh, just type in the word. Uh, we already did casino, right? We did casino. Okay. Oh wait, wait. Can I? Can I? Can by the way, can we should we should actually tell them what did your parents want you to do before opening a dealer school? Well, oh, give so, them the word first, and then what's you the can word? Talk okay, them. yeah, boba, b o b a, b o b a. Or boba. some of you guys in Twitch Discord, boba. Yeah, and here comes the story. Why you guys okay. type boba? Here so comes the meme. Great story. If you guys don't know, the reason why I always give my parents such a hard time is because when I first told them I wanted to start the dealer school, now it was ten years ago because I've been doing mm-hmm. this for nine years now. So in 2020, 2012. Yeah. And so I told them, I was like, we're going to do the dealer school. And the dealer school, when we first started, wasn't doing well. And so my parents were like, um, the dealer school is a stupid idea. You should not do a dealer school. You should open up a boba shop instead. And I and I was like, I looked at my parents. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know anything about boba. Why would I open up a boba I shop? Know. I and don't it, get boba, to be honest. Yeah. I know people love it, but I, I'm It's not. a cultural thing. Yeah. But I was just like, what? A boba Sucking shop. So that's why when you ever hear me talk about boba, that's just me throwing it back into my parents' faces. Yeah. His parents are very protective of him. When I first got involved in the business, they sat me down. We had a discussion. Mm-hmm. Now they just, they're like, congratulations. They're like, <laughs> just keep going. Yeah. Now, now it's all good. But once it's in a while, good. I love giving my dad a hard time. So, yeah, I, no by more the way, I, shop. I, we were talking about doing Charlie Kim story time and then having him like behind a cloak mask thing. So oh, like really? Like masks, so, but I still want to interview my dad. Nah, your dad would have a great story. By the way, his dad was a high level executive for many, many years. Mm-hmm. Has some fantastic stories uh, to share. Yeah. Really, really good. So, especially about high limit gamblers and traveling money and this kind of thing. Some yeah. really fantastic stories. We're, uh, I think, next week. Uh, we we are our next podcast. I'm gonna focus on story time. So, for those of your age, there, we're gonna literally uh, we're gonna work on story time. If Alex can't be here, I'll have someone else who can do story time with me. I know you guys. A lot of people have asked for for a story time, so we we'll get to story time. What well, can uh, we focus on on the stop because they're still correct. typing? Oh, they're still typing. Stop. Stop. All right, I'll pick. Okay. Ready? Yep. Lucky number thirteen. Mm-hmm. Six, twelve. Uh, Isaac five one five. Oh, Lyak. Uh, I'll type in chat. You'll know who you are. All right, good. Congratulations, you get the extra lanyard. 
It's uh, it's gonna be a collector's item. You watch, all right. And uh, okay. we may even throw a little something extra in there for you guys. All right, thank you so much. Uh, one last thing, we're coming out with these new cards. Uh, that uh, or the first dollar, they're gonna be uh, free shipping. They're gonna be five bucks. The first dollar is gonna go to Safe Nest, which is our new charity partner here in town. Uh, and uh, so uh, it's safenest.org if you're interested. Uh, it's a fantastic agency, and we're, we're trying to raise as much money as we can this year for them. So thank you so much, and we'll see you next Tuesday. This is uh, Alex, David, and Dennis, and the whole team here at uh, Casino Quest out. Uh, enjoy. Love, love. Good night, guys. Uh, appreciate you guys. Bye. Bye. Okay. Now fade to black.